treats this as child sacrifice and your pastor who has a fine moral opinion does nothing to help make it illegal how you doing sir uh, what would you say uh, he could do to make it legal well, when a bill comes up to actually make it illegal in Texas, he can support it, tell the congregants, hey, we need to go out and support it. We need to call our representatives. We need to show up to the rallies. We have an actual opportunity to oppose the federal government and be obedient to the word of God and the Texas Constitution and say, in Texas, we will no longer abort babies. So he could do that. He could rally other what's pastors. The, what's the latest thing? Is there something? Well, there's going to be another bill coming up just like HB 948. Um, the last one got tabled because all the pro-life representatives, did, they don't want to make abortion illegal for two reasons. One, it's the big cash cow of the Republican Party is, the, you know, to be pro-life, right? And that's, they fund a lot of money through that. And the second is they don't want to make abortion illegal because they don't believe women should be prosecuted for killing their babies once it's illegal, which is wrong, right? Because if a baby, if a woman kills her baby after it's born, she gets prosecuted. But You're uh, talking about some, some Republican pro-life politicians? Right, and that. Texas Right to Life. Texas Right to Life does not want to make abortion. They oppose the abolition bill, right? So, I mean, if you go to the convention, the Republican Party conventions in Texas, uh -huh. the biggest booths, the most technology, the, the grandest is Texas Right to Life, right? Uh -huh. I mean, even Republican senators and congressmen and representatives, don't, they have 10 by 10 booths. You know, Texas Right to Life has like a 40 by 40 booth. You know, it's a huge money game, man. So. We want to oppose the pro-life movement because all they've ever done throughout the history of the pro-life movement is regulate when, where, and how you can murder babies. They've never put forward a bill to make it illegal. Only abolitionists, this first bill, HB 948, which was tabled. Now you also got to remember, the Republican Party, they elected every single judge, all right, Christian Republican pro-life party mm -hmm. that voted yes on Roe v. Wade. The only one that didn't was a Democrat. Yeah. He voted against it, and he, he was put in uh, by a president that was a Democrat. Now, I'm a Republican, and I'm in the Republican Party, okay? Um, uh, so I'm a Republican. I'm not saying let's switch to Democrats. I right. mean, they're wicked, right? So, but um, we can't wait for the Supreme Court, right? It's just an opinion, right? They had an opinion on black people that's never been overturned. You know that? It's uh, called Dred Scott. Black people are only three-fifths human. That's never been overturned. Right? And it doesn't have to be overturned because it's just an opinion. It's not law. They don't make law. So we don't have to cowtail down to the Republican Party. I mean, to the uh, um, Supreme Court, right? So our Const the Texas Constitution says abortion is murder. Right. It's illegal. But we said, okay, the Supreme Court said every woman has a right to do it. Yeah. So Texas um, should do what like California and Hawaii and Colorado have done and said, about marijuana they, they said this about marijuana i'm yeah. saying it about abortion but they said hey look the feds say it's illegal to have marijuana to smoke marijuana but we're going to say it's legal and we're going to oppose the federal government right if so they can do the, it over marijuana so what's the up, is there a bill coming up or anything that um you can go to um um forgot the name of the website I didn't bring it with me but you can go to church repent there uh -huh. and ask the guys what's going on in Texas and they'll uh -huh. put you in touch with me and there is a bill coming yeah. uh, Tony Timberhold's gonna put forth another bill an abolitionist bill again you know and like the pro-life movers say hey we're actually winning there's less and less abortions every year but they're wrong because now a woman could take a pill after she's been pregnant a month yeah. and it'll abort the baby right so they don't have to yes surgical abortions are less and less but there's more abortions now than there's ever been in the history of America. I mean, that's horrible. So, and we don't well, hate this church. Thing, yeah, the one thing I would say is, I mean, what y'all, what you're standing for is right. I just hate bringing my daughter by yeah. and seeing some of those well, pictures. She that. probably has a better response than 99% of the men, right? Because it's horrible, right? Uh, well, uh, or my young kids, any of my right. young kids. Yeah. Right, right. But this is like the only voice these kids have. <laughs> Yeah. You know, so yeah. I just think it could be a little bit more respectful yeah. to the young, to the young. Family. Yeah, I understand. Thanks for talking to us, man.